under the hood of this particular 300C in the SRT8 trim, you get a 6.1 liter Hemi V8 engine. 425 horsepower, 425 foot-pounds of torque. It's probably the closest thing you can get to a streetable NASCAR. There's so much power on the low end, the car doesn't have to downshift to move, but when it does, it goes from a lightly burbling V8 to a all-out uh, big block muscle car, for what it sounds like. Uh, this is routed to a five-speed Mercedes-Benz transmission, uh, which is routed to the rear wheels. The interior has every luxury equipment you'd ever need. Uh, the car is in absolutely stunning condition and a great color combination. But let's get a walk around it, get familiar, and we'll take it for a spin, because this is a pretty wicked awesome car. Just show you the condition. I mean, it really is in uh, top-notch condition. The car is uh, like a gray metallic color. Uh, you can see there, uh, the 300C uh, SRT8 does come with some unique trim. Uh, you do have Xenon headlamps up front here, along with some uh, fog lamps down there and some front sprayers. Uh, you do have a standard 20-inch wheel on this model as well with uh, the OEM uh, Goodyear uh, Eagle RSA tires. You got 245, 45ZR20s uh, up front here uh, with a set of Brembo brakes. Pretty cool. You don't see that on a lot of sedans let alone high-end performance cars. Uh, 300C badge there just to indicate the model, but look down the driver's side, the reflection, uniform all the way down. You can see the rear tires. Uh, these are a little bit wider than the ones in the front. These are 245s, <laughs> 245, 45ZR20, 20, so it's the same size as the front. That's great. Let's walk around to the rear. This is a fully loaded version of this car. Uh, you do have uh, the park sensors there for the rear park assist, proper SRT8 badging, dual exhaust that indicates the nature of this car as well but the passenger side is spotless all the way down we'll take a look around show you inside take a look inside the trunk on the 300 it's obviously a large car so very very deep trunk but i do have a full set of uh factory floor mats that are really in great condition uh, you got the fronts there as well as the rears obviously you can see it goes pretty deep here under the floor you've got uh a uh, remote inflator as well as your battery that's mounted for the uh, weight distribution and over on the left side of the trunk here you're going to find the optional factory kicker subwoofer take a look at these seats these are unique to the srt8 model they're viper inspired they're leather and uh, alcantara insert there but extremely comfortable obviously a lot of bolstering uh, this is a pretty you know decent sized car so step in is of no challenge at all you do have a memory position there but a uh, power tilt and telescope wheel as well as just a great driving layout. It's really a muscular feeling car, but it's pretty much what you want with a 425 horsepower sedan. Such a unique layout. It's uh, definitely a very high quality car. Uh, this is based on the Mercedes E-Class platform, so you're gonna imagine it starts with a very good solid uh, foundation. But as I said, power tilt and telescope steering wheel. You've got your Mercedes-Benz style uh, cruise control stock over here, but uh, easy layout, almost like an Indiglo style uh, backlit gauge up here. Here you're gonna find the factory navigation system. Uh, this is paired with a six disc CD changer. Uh, it's a Boston acoustic sound system with a kicker sub in the rear, but uh, really nice system. You can see that you do have satellite radio in here, uh, as well as a rear seat uh, vehicle entertainment system that you can listen to a movie uh, or so uh, on the entire system here. But dual zone automatic climate control but below there. Uh, below there even, you're gonna find your front heated seats, as well as the Mercedes-Benz style shifter. Now this is a five speed automatic. Uh, with with uh, what they call auto stick or touch shift in Mercedes speak, but uh, hit it to the left to downshift, hit it to the right to upshift, but uh, either way, very responsive and built to deal with the kind of power that this car can dish out. Above my head here, you'll find a one touch power moonroof. Take a look inside back here. Uh, as I did say, this is a fully loaded car. So you do have the factory rear entertainment system. Uh, this TV folds right out of the console up here but uh, you do have a set of factory headphones uh, for the rear passengers, and also it can play through the great stereo system, uh, which sounds unreal with DVD audio, but nice and roomy. Going up behind the wheel on uh, this uh, Chrysler 300, I mean, this is a super high quality car. It's bank vault solid. The steering is extremely responsive. The ride's very quiet and compliant. This is a lot quieter than the other SRT8s. I think they use a lot more sound deadening in here, but uh, it still feels like an extreme muscle car. Uh, you barely lay onto the throttle and the car just absolutely launches like a, uh, like a cruise missile. But it uh, kind of feels like you're riding on top of it, more like you do uh, in a muscle car. 
so to speak, rather than uh, you know a sports car like a Ferrari or a Porsche or something like that, where you're part of the piloting experience. But it's actually pretty fun. It's a nice departure from you know the traditional high-sprung car. I mean, it's a luxury car all the time. And then uh, when you need to just uh, teach someone how to stop by the lesson, you just hit the right uh, pedal, and off you go. Just kidding. If you've ever driven a, a big block V8, anything along those lines, uh, this car is very much reminiscent of the torque that something like a plant like that would produce. So I'll give it a little bit of a roll on, but I'm sure we'll get some wheel spin here in first gear, but this thing is an absolute rocket. We got a lot of wheel spin there. Top us. four-cylinder Honda Accord is priced at. It blows my mind you can get 425 horsepower with a durable and tested V8 in such an awesome, well-built, solid, uh, let's be honest, the curb appeal is even awesome. The car looks awesome with these 20s on it, but uh, just to give you a bit of the history, I do have the auto check vehicle history report here. Uh, it was a one-owner car uh, from central Wisconsin, uh, which is a good vote of confidence. Obviously, the condition speaks volumes of what this car really is. But uh, it was a leased vehicle, uh, came back to the bank at the end of the lease, and uh, we had the opportunity to purchase it. And being such a nice car, this really is indicative of the kind of cars we look for. But check this car out online, you'll find a lot more pictures of it at chicagocarsdirect.com, or check out our YouTube channel, you'll find us on youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for having some fun with us, we'll see you again soon.